Well? Well what? Are you going to say yes to your mystery man? What are you talking about? You think we didn't all catch you looking at your phone all night? Those were work texts. Work texts don't use emojis. Emojis. Don't change the subject. The point is, you've got a man who wants to go out with you. Gretchen, it's not just any man. It's Thomas Kessler. Not if you think Lewis would object because he's a client. No, it's not just that. It's... Well, what is it? Because you clearly like him, so... What's stopping you from going out on a simple date and... maybe getting your freak on? Nothing. Gretchen. Absolutely freaking nothing. Hello. Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, yes to what? Yes to the question that you asked me. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to forgive me, but um, which question was that? Because I'm a very uh, curious person. I ask a lot of questions. Okay, I get it. You want to hear me say the words, yes, I will go out with you? I might have. Well, I just did. Good. In that case, the answer to your question is also yes. I didn't ask you a question. But you were going to ask if I made reservations, and yes, I already made some. How could you know that? Well, one, I'm an optimist. And two, I know you spent your entire career making plans for other people, and I thought you might appreciate someone making plans for you. Yeah, I would. Here's what I want you to do. Be ready for me to pick you up tomorrow night at 7. Wear something stunning, and um, hope to God I show up. Done. And Thomas? Why did you want to hear me say it? Because I may be an optimist, but it's still nice to hear. I'll see you tomorrow night, then. So you're sticking with that? Your all-time favorite is Springsteen. Are you kidding? I mean, in the beginning, it was just me in my garage. I would sketch designs on the walls, crank the boss, and just build. Well, looking at your pieces, it's obvious you're doing what you love. What about you? What about 20-something Donna? What was she up to? 20-something Donna was eating ramen every night and acting in an off, off, extra off Broadway production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Oh, careful, Maggie. Your claws are showing. You know Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? I know it. I was brick. In college? <laughs> no, ninth grade. But it's not the point. The point is, if I wasn't so bad at acting, I never would have realized my passion for design. Oh, so you're saying that I was a bad actor and that's why I'm a great COO? Well, you certainly couldn't hide the fact that you liked me when we first met. Oh, is that really how you want to play this? It doesn't have to be. Retrospect, I probably shouldn't have. You know, is it getting hot in here? Is it... <laughs> See, I knew you liked me. I do. And I'll tell you something else. As you know, I was worried about Mixing business with pleasure. But I haven't thought about business all night. So it's been all pleasure. Yeah. It has. Me too. I mean, you want to go somewhere and get a that cap? I'd love that.